This is a tutorial for Photoshop and Illustrator and the export of AI files from Photoshop. Right, got Photoshop open here, got a selection of shapes, custom shapes, they're from graphicextras.com, pack 132, different designs, select design there, just select a design, just a standard pass. Now in Photoshop the pass can be available via shape layers or pass. So just going to just using the shape layers instead of pass. So just use that. So that's another one. Just select a different design. There's a design there. Now you can of course manipulate the designs. You can transform, modify the designs. But I'm just going to use the custom shape. And there's the custom shape tool. To go to file and export and pass to Illustrator. Right, I'm just going to select that, pass to Illustrator, and it comes up with the options, document bound, shape, one vector mask, and I'm selecting that one. Select the vector mask, so which is that, the mask itself. Right, click OK, and I've got a, a AI file there, I'm just going to select that one, but uh, I could call it shape one AI. Now, not really certain which actual format of AI this is because I've tried it in a number of other applications and opening them in various things like uh, um, Paint Shop Pro or whatever and they unfortunately fail with uh, saying that uh, it's an unknown format or something so I'm not certain what type of version or whatever of AI file it is but anyway just gonna click Save at that point and once you've done that now go to Illustrator and Illustrator you can just go open and shape one click open there comes up with various options like legacy artboard because of course now with CS5 it's obviously a, has all the artboards and various things so click OK take the defaults there and you'll see nothing at that point but if you actually just go over the area just select that area and you'll actually see there's the design and I'm just going to add a fill to it, so I'm just so you can actually see the design. And there's the fill. So now it uh, can be copied into. Now, I mean, there is actually a place command. I'll just quickly show you that place command. Just doing the place command. Shape one place. Yes, and it will come up with an operation cannot complete because of an unknown error. Now I have no idea why the placement of the AI file fails. But uh, so the only way I, I found is actually using the open command in Illustrator to actually open the files. Um, like I say, I'm not certain what format of AI it actually is. Uh, so uh, that's uh, the file selected. Now, probably the easiest way of copy and pass around is not going via that export command, but because you can actually now can actually save the file again, save it back, say shape two. Save. Okay, and now go to back to Photoshop, and I can do place OSX. Place that file. Place. And click OK at that point, so I can actually bring the design in again from Illustrator do that but anyway that's a slight distraction from the actual thing the best way I always find is, is the simplest way and that's is just yeah select a design copy I'll just do the edit just so you can see it actually manage copy it's gone onto the pasteboard just delete that one and paste at that point for the edit ball Yes, so I could have just done paste, paste command. That was just a control V. And there's the design again, no actual color associated with it. So I'm just going to just add color and I'm just going to quickly manipulate it. So just to modify it slightly like that. And I'm just going to copy it again, make a just background. Right 
one for it. Control C again. And just quickly get rid of that. And copy it in as a smart object or shape layer, whatever. I'm going to actually do it as a smart object. I mean, you could, could pick one of the other options, but I'm just going to smart object so you can resize the design. So that design now is in and can be modified without uh, really any, so you can make it, increase it to any size you wish. You can change your mind at a later point. And also like that, you can also apply various filters to it, the smart filters, as well as various adjustment effects and other options. So uh, that's a quick and easy way of copying and pass in between Photoshop and Illustrator. It works for CS4, CS5, etc. Although I suspect dependent on the uh, the version of Illustrator and version of Photoshop you're using. So uh, if you're using a really early version of Photoshop, it might be uh, a bit harder to copy between uh, the two, and you might lose various things. Um, so and other applications also work. Uh, say a similar sort of way I mean you've got fireworks and whatever I'm certain that uh, there are other options but uh, they're the the two key linked products Photoshop and Illustrator